morning you guys welcome to the vlog i feel like i have just been so productive i've had like the most productive morning which is great i needed that because the day after halloween which was yesterday i was deathly hungover if i'm being extremely honest and i literally couldn't do a thing like i just had to lay there i'm not even kidding now i almost feel like i'm getting sick i don't even want to like put that energy out there and i swear it's because if i ever drink a lot of alcohol i swear it just weakens my immune system so much like it's, i just know my body and it's been like that ever since college so that was just dumb i had one too many cocktails on halloween and i'm like still feeling it two days later i wish i was kidding but you guys saw i got after i had my little breakfast my coffee did a little workout and what you didn't see as i was just like oh my gosh Gretchen, you are getting so behind like focus i was like making a thumbnail editing a video answering emails dropped off a package i have to drop off like, i've just been like going 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 all morning i just had my graduation from physical therapy they gave me this bag with like a t-shirt and like a folder of my like little exercises and stuff because i've been talking about it too much but for the last month i've been doing rehab for my back since i really injured my back like a month ago in an orange theory class i think doing it in deadlift and my back was like not okay so they've helped so much and yeah and my final pt session they're so nice i go to robin's rehabilitation if you guys live here if you care if you're like really good pt literally found them on google but they're the best love them it's like i don't know i just really like them they're great that's all i have to say so i finished pt having a productive morning and now we are at one of my favorite places Woo! <laughs> just as i finish recording that now it's cloudy and the lighting's way better does anyone else struggle if you do youtube i always just want like even nice lighting when i'm vlogging in the car and then like now when it gets really bright i'm like all shadowy anyway you guys probably don't care it's just in my head it's literally november 2nd it begins <laughs> i was looking for like christmas decor already and i'm not finding any but they do have like stockings and all this stuff coming out i saw some christmas oreos coming out okay i guess we're just leaving with a bunch of food they never have dave's killer bread or bagels at wegman so i'm stocking up here everything bagels plain this is our favorite bread ever i saw poppy which is my favorite so i just stock up on those my favorite gum and then this is insane amount of coffee but this is also always out of stock at wegmans so i'm stuck i don't know if i've had i've definitely had this i can't remember which i like better so i'm grabbing one of these two of these favorite almond milk thought this could be my one christmasy thing because we love the Khalifi creamer just vanilla bars favorite hummus which i also can never find at wegmans and this they were also out of stock at Wegmans. It's basically all my faves that they don't have at Wegmans. Came to Whole Foods just for the essentials. <laughs> I knew I would be too late to get the pumpkin mush. My favorite's at the bottom, the blueberry. I've never had peanut butter or honey nut, so I thought I'd try those. And then obviously, favorite cinnamon rolls ever. Needed them. I'm home and I already feel like I've worn a million different things in this vlog. I like changing my outfit because I showered, running around all morning, got a little workout. My PT and everything and I did my hair I just did like a little wave a little something with my air wrap I feel like it's very loose and like falls out in my hair but I kind of like the way it looks I'm already feeling together I do want to put on makeup though because TMI but I'm on my period so I'm just feeling like crampy and like and so when I like do my hair and makeup that's like my life hack when I'm feeling blah I feel better so yeah now I'm in cozy sweatpants sweatshirt hi Brownie. if it's like a matching set I immediately feel more put together so this is like I'm getting work done I'm trying to be cute but also my back hurts and I have cramps I'm just trying to be comfortable sort of vibe now I'm just going to switch my phone case I've been meaning to switch it over since recently I've actually been getting so many compliments on this one I think just because of all the new wives and girlfriends that are here for this hockey season and so obviously they haven't seen my phone case before and they're like oh my gosh I'm so obsessed like I've been getting them all to order their case by cases because you can add the photos like these photo ones are definitely my favorite because they're just so personalized and so cute but the reason I want to switch it over is because I keep being like guys wait till you see I have this one that's customized with all pictures of Brody and it's like my most favorite thing like am I obsessed or am I obsessed but yes I always get the impact cases from case by those are definitely my favorite they are really durable against drops which I need because I'm so clumsy I drop my phone at least once a day and this is always protected I've never cracked a screen anything like that I know the impact cases are actually drop test approved for drops up to 9.8 feet and there's 
a two layer of construction in these cases called Chi Tech, which just makes it, again, so durable. But they're so thin, which is incredible while being so cute. Obviously, you can customize like I did. They have so many prints, so many different designs, like collabs with artists, and you can customize too. I took a bunch of mine out right here so I can show you. You can add your <laughs> initials, you can add your name, GLB, if you know, you know. Okay, every time I film, you go crazy with your toys. And it's really loud for them in their ears. For all my viewers, <laughs> he's like, zip it. I don't care. Pew. Go get it. <laughs> I wish I was kidding you guys like every time I whip out my camera he has to start making noise But I grabbed some of my fave case by cases to show you like I was saying all of these right here are Actually the impact cases these ones aren't this one's actually the ultra impact case If you can see it just has like an extra bumper in the corner So it makes it even more protective the impact and ultra impact cases are actually made of 65% Recycled and plant-based materials and they're also compatible with 5g and wireless charging So yeah, this one just says my name you can see it has the glitter that moves around this one I love because it's just so neutral simple obviously this one says my name too switched over to the brody case because i could max is facetiming me he's getting us to pull it right now hang on max what i was gonna say is that their phone cases actually have an antimicrobial coating which is so cool it kills 99 percent of bacteria just keeping your phone case germ free their cases are 100 percent non-toxic non-hazardous so i'll have them linked down below i know my link for case by is still the same it's just casefy.com slash gretchen you'll get 15 percent off your new favorite phone case especially if you haven't had a case by case before what are you doing they're the best i've converted all my friends and family to get case by cases especially since the holidays are coming up it could be such a good gift for anyone in your family that doesn't have a case but i know all you guys do because you're my viewers so you're like gretchen i already know like i already have a case by case but your friends and family get them on it's case by so in a facetime max back he's probably like what do you want oh my gosh this is why he's facetiming me okay do you guys care the chipotle saga so he's getting his chipotle he sends me this because he was all mad they're closed he went at like 12 30 oh look now it's 101 so he showed up right on time he showed up at 12 30 and i was like just go browse around like Target, Dick's favorite, and go back at one when they open. It's 101, and this is definitely why he was FaceTiming me. Look at the line. The world just doesn't want us to have our Chipotle today. <laughs> okay, let's see what he says. Brody, come here. He always has to make a scene whenever I'm filming. He has to make a bunch of noise. Oh, now is he not gonna answer? He's answering. Hi. Hello. I'm filming you. Uh, failure for lunch. Failure? Uh-huh. How come? See my pet? Yeah, it was a long line. Yeah, there was a line waiting at the door for them to open up. <laughs> so did you but, wait or are we just not doing Chipotle? No, I, I'm going to wait in line right now. Oh my gosh. Probably because everyone had the same idea as you that they were just going to go kill time until 1 o'clock and come right back when it opened. Or should we go somewhere else? Wait, why did they freaking close today? I don't know. That's so weird. We could go to... <laughs> Uh, okay. I feel like yours has more like nutritional value than mine. Uh, yeah, because I don't do sour <laughs> cream or cheese. Yeah, well, actually, it's probably fine, but it always hurts my stomach because I get like loads of sour cream, yeah. but it's just because it tastes so good. Okay, we did a little bit of makeup. Feeling good. Mascara, some bronzer, some lip. This is the fit, just black skinny jeans. Oh my gosh, there's like so much, there's like piles of clothes behind me, ignore that. And this pea coat I got recently from Aritzia. I love it so much, it fits perfect. This freaking mirror always looks dirty. I feel like I said that recently. No, I feel like I always clean it. I need to find like a better way to clean this mirror because it always looks dusty no matter what I do. But anyway, we are actually about to, I decided today is the day, going to open a new bank account for me here in Pennsylvania since I haven't had one here and I wanted to do that for, you know, like a year so we're finally going to do it so i thought i would look professional ish adult ish with like peacoat black jeans <laughs> look kind of nice little makeup little something but i'm happy we decided that we're going to do that having max come with me because don't want to go alone and it's just need to happen it's going to be long and boring i'm sure but we're adulting today and continuing being productive and i will see you guys when i get back i'm not going to bring this because it's going to be very boring so check in with you later i'm to show you guys some new skincare I've been trying out for funsies because I've heard good things. It's like a little get unready with me moment. Taking off my jewelry, which I used to not do. And like, I feel like I don't have to because they don't like tarnish or turn my fingers green or anything. But I just feel like so free at night with no jewelry on to sleep. Like I think about in college, I never once like took off my earrings, rings, necklaces, anything ever. But I don't know, it just feels kind of like nice to take 
take it off at night, put it back on in the morning. I don't know. Then it doesn't get like caught or anything. Okay, let's tie my hair back. I'm about to get roasted by all of you. I know it's coming because I feel like I'm the last person on this planet to still use makeup wipes. I know, you're probably cringing. Instead of like a cleansing balm or cleansing oil or micellar water, whatever you're supposed to use these days. But I've tried them all, I promise you. I've literally, well, probably not all of them. I've tried so many cleansing balms that I just don't like, they don't work well for me. Does anyone else really, I feel like I haven't talked about this issue that I have with them on YouTube like ever. Cleansing balm, cleansing balm all over my face. And I'm as scared of it because I wear so much. No matter what I do, the cleansing balm gets in my eyes. And then I'm physically in pain. My eyes are like burning and I can't see because it makes my eyes like all cloudy. And then the mascara that came off of the cleansing balm is like, oh, that's really gross. I just did that. But like it's stuck. <laughs> like, does anyone know what I mean? Like if your makeup comes off and it gets like stuck on the inside of your eyelids. I have some, that's why I have so many issues with cleansing balm. Other than that, it's okay. I honestly would use them to get off my face makeup but I feel like no matter what I need to use one of these to get off my eye makeup and I always kind of get them like more wet I don't know why I feel like it helps take off my makeup more but don't mind me just like scraping away my face over here everyone's gonna be like no don't pull your eyelids don't use makeup wipes because I know it's not good but like nothing else works for me I've tried coconut oil like lotion literally all the things and this is just what works best for me because I use literally like two massive coats of mascara but the reason we are joined this evening in my bathroom <laughs> is because i want to show you new skincare i've been trying out it's exciting because it well i feel like it's exciting for me because it's new like i oh my god see this is what i mean does anyone see how there's like chunks of mascara in my eyeball maybe that's like gross to see but did this that happen to anyone else when you're taking off your mascara like what am i supposed to do anyway and then i have to like show fingers in my eyes to get it out like ew maybe you're used to it if you have like contacts but like i never have so anyway what i'm trying to say <laughs> oh yeah i ordered this little like set of serums from doctor no doctor Bar barbara is it doctor yeah dr barbara sturm i always thought it was strum i know nothing <laughs> when i saw these before and i've heard such good things about this skincare line but i've always been hesitant because it's like really expensive but i've always wanted to try so i saw this little set of like minis if you can see serums and so i thought they would be fun to try out so i thought i'd bring you along in trying out the serum so far i've tried the hyaluronic one which i feel like is what i've heard such good things about oh my gosh and i know hyaluronic acid hyaluronic serum is just like all the rage right now because everyone loves it and says it's like so hydrating whatever my sister is really into skincare and she got me on to like hyaluronic acid niacinamide everything like that anyway got this little i think it's called the discovery set from barbara sturm and i just thought it'd be fun to try new serums because i feel like i had serums i was using for a while and then like ran out i feel like i just will always try something new because i think it's like fun unless there's something like tried and true like skincare but i do have my favorites actually this is a good moment i want to ask you guys do you have like a favorite of all time cleanser or really moisturizer is what i want to know comment down below in the comments because i oh my gosh i'm running out of room on this makeup but feel like i like i love skin suticles i love tula i love this one that my sister had me get this uh i used to the people kale green tea superfood cleanser i know so many people love that this skin fx moisturizer she also had me get i really like that but i just thought if you had a favorite of all time and you're like Gretchen, oh my gosh you need to try this let me know because i will try it oh, i bring it all down my neck and so look at this freaking makeup wipe not so much makeup i probably look like a different person right now than i started this clip okay sorry this is taking so long i guess i never realized how long this takes but, uh, okay let me wash my face i'll be back okay we're back clean skin i used that used to the people cleanser i feel like this is taking way too long i thought this was gonna be like three minutes let's speed this up Gretchen. i don't want to bore you okay i was saying got this little set that was like stupidly expensive don't get this honestly don't get it i just have looked at the barbara sturm like serums for a while i want to try them so i thought this would be good just for fun because i'm into skincare but like literally do not waste your money <laughs> i'm like horrible that i'm saying that but no that's just my opinion because they're like really expensive honestly if these like transform my skin i'll keep you updated but i've only tried 
tried the hyaluronic serum so far and the brightening serum i've used during the day like under my makeup and i haven't tried the calming serum or super anti-aging yet but what i was gonna say which i don't think i did is i started just doing like cleanser my moisturizer i showed you the skin fx one and i is that what it's called now? Oh, Skin Fix. Keep thinking it's Skin FX, I don't know. Skin Fix cream. But it's because I've like run out of other serums or oils or stuff that I've used. And I'm like, I feel like I could be mixing in a serum, like doing more. And Love 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 Skin Suticles. And I was using the cleanser, moisturizer, serum for so long, but I ran out and they're so expensive. So I thought I would just like try others in the meantime. You know what I should actually tell you guys? This is what my sister Lucy got me onto. And they're like under $10. Like these are so affordable. This is hyaluronic acid niacinamide from Inky List. And we both noticed such a difference and especially i forget which one does which but like use both and like the appearance of pores i feel like it made my pores smaller and look like less clogged and stuff and more hydrating i think that's what nice in mine does like the pores and then hyaluronic acid i think is just really hydrating so you guys should get these don't get these <laughs> like overpriced anyway so yeah i just have been trying to do serums like with the moisturizer because i feel like i could be getting like added benefits let's do the hyaluronic serum i've used it like twice and it's like halfway gone so yeah Probably will not be buying the full bottle. That's why I thought it would just be fun to do the minis to see if they were like changing my life or not instead of buying like the full size, you know? It's interesting because this is thick like an oil, but these ones, the inkyless ones are like really thin like water. So I don't know, I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of like oil consistency. But yeah, basically don't be like, Gretchen, you're so dumb. Well, you know what? You couldn't say that because I feel like it is dumb how much I spend on these little serums, but let me live if i want to be bougie and overspend on face serums because i feel like trying them out just let me <laughs> i've just heard like such good things about this brand and how it's like transformed people's skin and stuff maybe i'm not seeing the benefits of i'm not using like their moisturizer with but whatever i'm using this skin fix barrier triple lipid peptide cream that i showed you and i feel like it's good i just need like a really thick moisturizer which this is this is pretty thick because my skin is so freaking dry you guys oh dang it kind of too late but i wish i mixed in my bronzing face drops because you can see how much paler i am without all the makeup and like tons of bronzer that i put on i really like having a little glow so i use like tanning drops i'm sure you guys have seen these i've tried them all oh no i think I'm, my sister might spill them i love wait I more the Lux Unfiltered tan, face tan drops. I can't find them right now, but I really like those. And I also really like the Isle of Paradise ones. I've used light, I've used medium, this is dark. And they're really good. They just give you a little glow. And then last but not least, that on my steps. I use the Babe Lash Yo. This is suddenly like a get unready with me. Serum for my eyelashes. This has literally transformed my eyelashes, you guys, because I had none left after having eyelash extensions for years. Like they literally were twigs. And where my eyebrows are kind of sparse, I'll like use the leftover on that. But you know what? I've heard such good things about Grande Lash. Grande Lash. That's how you say it. Because so many people use that. And I've seen it on Sephora. And it's about to be the Sephora sale. I feel like I'm putting this on so messy. It's really hard for me to multitask if you can tell I'm talking like so slow. But I really want to try the Grande Lash one. That's what I was saying. And this for sale is coming up soon. So maybe I will grab one of those then. Yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys for the fun new skincare. I'm going to end up a vlog here because I feel like this is getting so long now. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.